Hi, everybody. A big update on this Monday morning, I'm kind of rewriting the forecast. There's an upper level low that's sitting down near the California, Oregon coast. Modeling is showing scattered uh, thunderstorm activity in southern and central Oregon later today, but not picking up this run of showers that's migrating from southern Oregon and pushing north all the way up towards Salem at this hour. Right now, sky cameras in Salem basically show partly cloudy skies. We're still sunny in Portland. But we'll keep an eye. These showers may fade away or, or fail to move farther to the north. Um, so that's hard to say right now. And it's also hard to tell if Portland stays sunny or if these clouds actually start to increase up into our sky. So realize that is going on. And if I go down to um, the upper level chart right here, you can see the upper level low. See the enclosed contouring? So that's the upper level low. Here's the Oregon, California coast. All this is migrating up to the south. You can see the cloudiness that this is pushing across our state uh, already this morning. So uh, no lightning detected. This is the lightning detection. You can see lightning in, around California and Arizona, but nothing in our area. Again, later today in southern and central Oregon, we do expect to see some lightning strikes. So we're keeping an eye on all of that. Now, what is Facebook, or excuse me, Futurecast? I posted this on my Portland Weather Facebook page. This Futurecast graphic, uh, courtesy of KGW-TV, this is not today, but Tuesday evening at 11.30. So Tuesday evening at 11.30. What this is showing is that tomorrow evening, thunderstorms move up the Cascades, and then some of them, including thunder and lightning as a possibility, migrate back to the west, crossing I-5. There's a thunderstorm getting ready to move out of Yamhill in the Tillamook County. So maybe in, in spotty areas, we get thunderstorm activity Tuesday evening into the overnight. Um, that could lead into some lingering spotty showers Wednesday morning. So that's, we're watching all of that. Now let me get you to the seven day forecast, which, uh, let's see here, yeah, is basically for Portland staying sunny or mostly sunny today. We could go as warm as 85 degrees, but remember we have those clouds coming up from the south. So certainly if you're watching us from Salem, partly cloudy skies with a shower chance. Overnight tonight, for everybody, clouds increase, and then there could be a spotty shower Tuesday morning for the Rose City. The better chance of measurable rain would be an evening overnight scattered shower and thunderstorm. Enough cloudiness tomorrow that we stay in the 80s. Um, I'm forecasting morning clouds Tuesday. You go ahead and read that. Morning cloudiness of possible spotty showers. Look for a partly, cloud after, partly cloudy afternoon and then increasing evening clouds with that thunderstorm chance. That rain chance lingers into Wednesday morning. Right now, Thursday probably looks dry, but the upper level low is still close by, so I'm including a shower chance on Thursday and Friday. The temperatures will be comfortable. So after in the 90s today for Portland, 87, near 80 Wednesday with morning clouds, 84, 84, 82, 86, and, and we wrap up the week looking uh, pretty nice. But back to my, my lead story, uh, which also shows up on the homepage radar. I want to let's see here. See how the, the forecast modeling just keeps Portland sunny in the 90s? So maybe that doesn't come true. Again, we're watching the scattered shower chances right there with the possibility of some rain in the area, all areas, overnight tonight, and then that better storm chance on Tuesday. So maybe things are starting to get active. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.